Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to get token holders with BitQuery's token holder API. So token holders are basically wallets that hold a particular token. With BitQuery's API you can get top 10, top 100, top 1000, up to 15,000 holders. You can then filter by balance amount to get all the token holders of a particular token. This includes meme coins, popular coins, any NFT. So it includes all crypto tokens. So in this video, we will see how to achieve the same. Okay, now I'm in the BitQuery's Explorer. I am now moving to the Ethereum chain. Under the tokens tab, I will pick any token and then use that address to then write a query that will fetch me all the top tokens. Now I am copying the token address. To get the endpoint, navigate to BitQuery's docs and in the quick start tab, you will find the endpoint for the GraphQL IDE. If you're not comfortable with the GraphQL, you can use the builder that's available on the side. I am selecting the combined data set which includes both archival and real time data. I am right now for now we limit it to 10 entries. In the currency smart contract filter we will put in the address that we copied. Let's calculate the balance field in the query itself. Let's order it by balance from highest to lowest. Click on uh, run now. And you will see the response. Let's, let's increase it to a hundred top hundred token holders for the token that we copied. Now I'm changing it to thousand. You can keep a uh, setting the limit that you want to get the token holders. Let's copy an address now and see how we can analyze the address. In the Explorer, I've pasted the address. Under the money flow tab, you will be able to visualize the flow of funds from and to the wallet. Since we chose a particular token in the last query, we'll choose the same token here. You can increase the inbound and out outbound depth to get much more detailed information of the flow of funds. With BitQuery's money flow feature, you can tr track the flow of funds from and to multiple accounts, wallets, smart contracts, and uh, exchange wallets. So this might be a useful investigation tool in the case of scams or when you're trying to prove ownership.